What's up everybody, I'm Grayson and today we're going to be looking at how to get a spectrum receiver to work in beta flight by turning the inverter off. Some flight controllers have specialized pads for inverted and non-inverted receivers. The inverted receivers include FR Sky and Crossfire. The non-inverted uh, pads include Spectrum. Now today we're going to be looking at how to turn the inverter off if you only have one pad assigned for your receiver or you have an assigned pad but the inverter is on. Before we get started, don't forget to bind your receiver and your transmitter. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up Betafly and we're going to turn on our radio. Okay, now that that is on, we're going to plug in our quad. So it is on and it is connecting. So what we want to do first is we want to go into our ports and make sure we have the select the correct UART selected for the serial RX. Uh, on your flight controller it may vary. Sometimes it'll be UART 3, 4, 5, 1, doesn't matter. Just make sure that you look up for your flight controller which UART you have it plugged into. Next we're going to go to configuration. We're going to go down to our receiver. Uh, this is a Spectrum serial based receiver. Uh, this is the PV racing receiver, which is a 2048 signal. Uh, once you've selected that, we're going to save and reboot. So now we're going to go down to our receivers tab, and I'm going to move around my sticks, and nothing is happening. Now I know I have the correct UART selected, so this means that we're going to have to go down to our CLI and we are going to type in this text. So we're going to type in set serial RX underscore inverted space equals space off. Now we're going to hit enter. Now it has set that, we're going to type save and it'll reboot okay it has now rebooted now we're going to down, go down to our receivers tab and everything moves around as it should the next thing we're going to want to do is set our endpoints to where as I go all the way to the far extremes, it equals 2000 or somewhere around that. It doesn't have to be exact, but it needs to be pretty close. So as you can see, I have each one around 1000 and 2000 on each end. Now if your channels are in the wrong order, this may be due to a different channel map. It comes default with FR Sky, but since we're using a Spectrum receiver and radio, we're going to have to change that and we'll click save. Now it is correct, and there we go. It is now connected fully. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go into modes. Now, as you can see, I already have my arm switch selected, and also down here, I have my flip over after crash or turtle mode selected. So to add a range, I'm gonna get rid of this real quick. So I'm going to click add range. Don't move any channels other than the channel that you want to use as your arm. Going to flip that. It is now selected aux one, now I can move this little bar over, and now that means that only in this little bar will it be armed. Anything other than that, it will be disarmed. So we're going to hit save. Going to make sure it goes over, and it does. So now we've set that, and the same thing for the turtle mode. Now to use turtle mode, you have to have D shot which is fairly common nowadays, but if you're using an older ESC, it may not be able to support that. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video, and I hope it helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.